All right, in this lesson, we're gonna set up our Lifter LMS sidebars for our courses and lessons. And we're gonna go ahead, while we're working with widgets, um, just clean up the, uh, the footer widgets right here. So the sidebar is the area beside the content. And to get to those, we go over to our appearance widgets and you can notice we have a primary sidebar and a secondary sidebar so that's just globally across the whole website for all the posts and pages there can be a, a sidebar and if you do the two sidebar layout that's where the secondary sidebar comes in but with lifter lms no matter which theme you're using you have these areas where you have a sidebar that is specific to all courses and a sidebar that is specific to lessons. So these are the course widgetized area for sidebars and the lesson widgetized areas for sidebars. So in WordPress, over here we have our widgets and we're gonna add the two Lifter LMS widgets to both the course sidebar and the lesson sidebar. So we have the course syllabus and then we have the course progress, which we're actually gonna put on top there. I'm just gonna give it a title called progress. And on the course, I'm just gonna call the title of this widget lessons. And in, in this case, I'm not gonna make the, uh, the sidebar, the syllabus collapsible by section. And you'll see what I mean in just a moment. So here on the individual lessons, I'm also gonna add the course progress. And I'm going to add the course syllabus. And I'm actually going to make that this one collapsible to save a little space. And I'm also going to display the open and close toggles. So I'm going to save that, save that, save that, save that. You can never be too careful. And then I'm going to go back to my course page. You can see here, this is the, at the course level. And I'm going to hit refresh, and you're going to see our sidebar show up. So there it is. And I'm actually going to edit this course and move the sidebar over to the right-hand side where I like it. And that is in the Launchpad settings. And now when I view this course, you can see I've moved the sidebar over to the right hand side. And you can see here where here's the progress widget. This particular user is at 0%. This will start to fill up as this user completes lessons. And uh, if we go into an individual lesson, you can see uh, here these, this syllabus widget is collapsible. That's what that means which allows you to you know, make the screen a lot more compact vertically. So that is the progress and lesson sidebar widget. And just a note with Launchpad while we're covering this, if we go to Appearance, Launchpad, you can see over here in Layout, we can choose some settings here. So we want our default layout to be full width, um, we have a right sidebar selected for our blog. For courses, I'm actually going to set this for the future for all courses to have a right sidebar, uh, which is also going to apply to lessons. And I like to have my membership pages full width. So just a quick note on working with sidebars with the Launchpad theme. So now we have our sidebar set up. And while we're working with widgets, I'm just going to clean up this area down here uh, these, there's actually three footer widgets right here. So if we go back into, into our WordPress and go to Appearance Widgets, you can see over here where um, we have our course and lesson sidebar, but then there's these footer widget one, two, and three here. So I'm gonna move all this content that just shows up here by default out of that footer widget area. And now when I hit refresh here, it'll be blank down there. So that's nice and cleaned up, but I'm, I actually kind of like having some content down there. So this is a great way if you're looking for just some placeholder content, there's this thing called Lorem Ipsum. You've probably seen it on websites. It's just some uh, generic Italian or uh, Latin text. 
So I'm just gonna grab just a little bit of you know jibber jabber gibberish <laughs> to put in my widget area as placeholder content. And I'm gonna move in some text widgets here. And I'm gonna give this a title. And save that. And I'm gonna just actually call that um, widget one. And I'm gonna do the same thing over here with a text widget. Widget two. And then I'm gonna go ahead and find my third widget area, which is up here. And I'm gonna put that in there as well. And I'm gonna save that and let's see what that looks like. So when I refresh that, that means site-wide, I now have these little widget areas and I can put all kinds of stuff in those, which I'll do later uh, in terms of more information, links, images, that sort of thing. So our site, really the framework is really coming together and I'm just gonna show you one more thing on the Lifter LMS website. Uh, this is one of the most popular pieces of content in terms of our documentation, we have short codes. And for our course sidebar widget, I also would like to have a, um, I, I would like to have the achievement badges displayed in a sidebar widget. So even though Lifter LMS only comes with, um, you know, a couple widgets, you can still kind of create your own with short codes. And I'm going to show you how to do that in just a second here with um, the achievement badges. So you can see here we have a short code. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that short code, head back over to our widget areas. And then on the course sidebar, I'm actually going to add that. I'm going to add a new widget called My Achievements. I'm going to place that short code in there. And I'm going to save that. And I'm actually going to put that also on the lesson sidebar just to further help gamify the experience and uh, keep people aware of what they've earned so far. Uh, directly from the lesson itself. So now if we go back to our lesson and refresh that, you can see down here that there's this new widget called My Achievements um, that's coming in from the um, from just dropping that short code in a text widget. So that is a quick tour of working with sidebars, the Lifter LMS widgets, and really just widgets in general and also some of the custom shortcodes that come with Lifter LMS.